Managers of Reddit, what's the stupid reason a customer has asked to see you? Restaurant manager here. We provide complimentary bread baskets on our dinner tables. One lady clicked me over, because who doesn't love that? Comma to tell me I was running the most unhygienic establishment that she had ever eaten in. And that. With her food hygiene level 3 certificate. She could and should have me shut down. Why the fuss? There was some jam on the bread. And I had clearly taken used breakfast stock and tried to cost cut by serving contaminated bread at dinner. I'd cut the bread not 10 minutes before. Burning my hands on it as it was fresh out of the oven. Definitely not leftovers. I apologized profusely yet non-committally. Removing the offending bread amid increasingly patronizing comments about how I really ought to know how to run a restaurant and that being so thick as to do this blah blah blah. On inspection. Red blobs of jam were drips of red wine from the bottle next to the bread basket. That the lady had poured herself. Needless to say. I wasn't shut down. Used to be front office manager in a hotel. In our rooms we had three phones. One next to the bed. One in the bathroom and one on the desk. This is already a lot but in the past we also had an additional fourth phone on the side table. So one day a customer asked to see me requesting the fourth phone because you could clearly see the telephone socket in the wall, neatly covered, and thus his room was not complete. I asked him why he needed four phones in his room. He said because clearly in the past there were four phones and that's what he paid for, we didn't advertise online with four phones. But I had maintenance bring up a fourth phone nonetheless. Semicolon. Because a bartender properly poured a beer. It was Stella in the Stella Chalice. It's listed in the menu as 13. 5 ounces and that's the full line. Dude asked the bartender to top him off as the head had died down a bit. Bartender does so and the guy wants the head completely poured off. Bartender points out the fill line and says that he can't just pour away beer, head is mostly beer. Customer takes this as attitude. Do doesn't like it and comes to me and since I hadn't heard this. I immediately point out the fill line. He ended up returning the beer. I like to think that he had to go to the bathroom where he would have walked past that lame 9 step perfect stellar poor poster that we have that specifically references the fill line and that the beer is supposed to have head. Oh. And I had to spend a solid 5 minutes explaining sales tax and how it applies at a restaurant. But not at a grocer. That first story is gross. But the second is grosser. I worked at a Toyota dealership and a salesman said his customer asked to speak to the manager because Jesus told her that we would provide her with a car. I asked her if Jesus was paying cash or financing. She literally expected us to just go. Oh okay. Well. Pick out whatever tickles your fancy. As a server I got tipped in Jesus pamphlets every Sunday. I thought about asking them if instead they could pray that Jesus would pay my light bill instead of sending me Bible pamphlets. Not a manager. But I once had a woman ask me. Very rudely. To get her a manager this instant because my behavior was completely unacceptable. Semicolon. She'd asked me where something was and I simply said it's over in, section. I'd show you over but unfortunately I'm tied up with another customer at the moment. Once I'm finished with her I can meet you over there and we can look for it together. Or I can call on the radio and see if anyone's able to meet you there sooner. I get called over for a price match for a Lego set. I get there. And it's clearly a clearance price from a different location. Which is a policy exclusion. Of which I inform him. Shows receipt it's from a different location. You have to honor it. Clearance differs from store to store. But regardless. The price match policy excludes clearance pricing. So I'll call customer service and if they overrule you. I'll do it. I walk away while he makes his call. Of course. He doesn't get his way because the policy is available for literally anyone to read before doing all this horse t. TL. DR. Just because it's clearance there doesn't mean it is or is going to be here. I manage a landscape supply yard. One of the customers came in saying our employee was very rude and refused to load him. Knowing this employee I knew they had to be a good reason. 
the customer asked the half black half Korean employee if a half breed like him knew how to operate the equipment. That was the first thing the customer said to him. Obviously had no problems telling the guy his business wasn't welcome. He proceeded to tell me how much he'd damage our reputation. And we'd hurt without his business. The guy spent under $5,000 a year with us. To put that in perspective. It's March with several feet of snow on the ground and I've had 6 sales over $5,000 today in just an hour of being open. We have not missed his business. UK worker here for a large supermarket. Every little helps. Customer comes over this toaster is 25 pounds in Argos and 30 here what shall I do? Me. Buy it in Argos in her words she could not believe the audacity of me suggesting she go elsewhere so I stated we don't price match with other retailers called over a mangers whose opening words after I explained the issue were buy it from Argos it's cheaper some people are strange. Guy asked for ice cubes in his coffee. Came back to complain his coffee was cold. Not a manager. But when I worked at a Tex-Mex restaurant a woman asked to see my manager because she was supposed to get 90 cents in change but said she didn't want that much change so she wanted me to give her a full dollar instead. I told her if you don't want your change you don't have to take it but I can't just give you extra money. Even if it's just 10 cents. She then asked to see my manager who gave me the most really. Look and proceeded to politely tell her the same thing. I used to be a shift leader at Cinnabon. And the unbelievable amount of people who asked for stuff we don't have and get mad that we don't have it. Is atrocious. I. E ranch. Meat. Pretzels. Glaze. Chocolate. Our store phone was broken for a few months or so, which has been nice not taking calls, but it gets a lot of questions why we don't pick up the phone when they call. One person came by and said they called here and the manager told them they could have a free Cinnabon because theirs was dry and old. I asked if they talked to X, a previous manager who no longer works there. They said yes and I gave them the sassiest well our store phone hasn't been working for a few months so that is clearly a lie. They stormed off. I felt good about the rest of the day. At the restaurant I used to work at a rule was actually made for serving couples. If the waitress is a woman they have to address the woman at the table first and if the waiter is a man he has to address the man at the table first. It's because of the numerous complaints we had about servers flirting with the customers spouses. Imagine being that insecure. I'm not technically a manager as I don't manage a team. I am however in an executive corporate complaint department. So if they ask for someone above the manager they get me. A customer was transferred to me pissed that our bank didn't offer a weirdly specific investment product that one of our competitors offered. Ranted. Raved. And argued for over 30 minutes demanding we offer this account. Wouldn't take no for an answer. Thought I could somehow create an all new account type unlike any other account we offered immediately. When asked why he didn't open the account with the other bank if they had what he wanted he. In the tone a 5 year old who doesn't get their way uses. Wind but I want it with you I don't we and with TD bank. Lady demanded to speak to a manager because she couldn't math. At all. Whatsoever. I'm not talking about taking percent s off a price. I'm talking basic little 1 plus 1 plus 1 math. We had a product on sale for a dollar and she bought 8 of them. She was absolutely befuddled as to why her total was not $1 and demanded to see a manager because the cashier was ripping people off. I had to explain that one of the product was $1. Well yes I know that. So why is it $8? I pointed to her bag and said there were 8 items there. But the sign says $8. That means I should get it for $8. It shouldn't be anything like that. So I literally pointed to each one and counted out loud how many dollars she was spending. She paused for a while and went. Okay. Fine. But then my total should only be $8. Why is it more? Because tax. I had to explain tax to her. Mind you. She was also a regular. She had made many complaints before. All of them stupid but none about sales tax. It shouldn't have been such a foreign concept. The customer sent the order to the wrong store. She called in to check on her print order. 
My employee looks all over for the order. Cannot find any record of this customer ever ordering with us. She demands to speak to a manager. So the phone is handed off to me. Now I have ran into a few of these before. So after calming her down a bit. I start off with a very detailed description about location including a fire station and other prominent landmarks near us. Apparently she used the print shop on the other side of town. Then has the never to ask why we didn't tell her from the start she called the wrong store. We answer the phone with dollar sign printer shop name. This is dollar sign name how can we help you? Some people. Worked for a DSL provider back in the day. Dude called in pissed. Didn't like that his wireless modem just meant it provided Wi-Fi, but you still had to hook it up to a phone jack. Ask to speak to a manager. I get on the line and he immediately screams I don't want no wars for you're not in Kentucky or the South. People pronounce wars. Pires. ETC as wars. Tars. Sometimes. Depends on how country they are. It was the dumbest thing ever. Dude bought DSL knowing it came through the phone line. Like. We discussed this. And I got to the point where I was just like sir. If you knew it came through the phone line. How do you suppose we'll get the info from the line to the modem? I said I don't want no FCK in wars. Eventually. We get him cancelled. Took 20 minutes to get him to remember his favorite restaurant for the security question. It was Taco Bell. I used to work as a team leader in a call center that provided email support. This particular client was not listening to the advice my team member was giving and kept interrupting and raging over the phone to a point where I had to jump in. He threatened to come to our office and personally FCK us up as he is losing business due to incorrect settings on his email client. So as I was starting to get tired of his arrogance. I told him we are at the office and he's welcome to come over. He pitches up super angry, and me and my team member, who is a massive dude from Congo, goes to see him. At this point his face went super blank and his attitude changed very quickly. Even apologized a few times for the mistake being on his side. Because the racist son of a bitch was happy to hear all the information from my Asian employee. But didn't want the final commission to go to a yellow fella. So wanted to buy from me. I took the sale under my sales associate sign in. When working overnight in a retail store an elderly couple calls and asks for someone in the automotive department. We didn't really have anyone for just that area so I took the call. They needed help changing their Tesla brake fluid at like 3am. And they called a grocery store. I redirected them to the Tesla support line. Another time I had a customer come up to me asking for big scissors. So I take them to the hedge trimmers. He later revealed to me that he needed them to cut his neighbor's Christmas lights because they were too bright. As a journalist I once had a guy who came in with his obviously upset girlfriend because he wanted me to write a story about how he wasn't gay and he didn't know why the gay prostitute he was about to go to trial for beating up was at his house when his girlfriend was away. We didn't write the story. Working for Shoppers Drug Mart. If there's ever an issue with points on our loyalty cards. It has to be taken up with head office. Over the phone. Usually it goes. Customer doesn't get the correct amount of points. Gets mad at the cashier who directs them to call head office. They ask for a supervisor who tells them the same thing. They ask for a manager who tells them the same thing. They bitch and moan to the manager who gives them a so sympathetic sad face while they screech about tattling to head office that we did exactly what we're supposed to do and that is apparently unacceptable. Happens daily. Right after I took over as the manager. A woman came into my coffee shop and asked if the management had changed since she was last in. I said it was very likely since I was new. And how could I help her? She proceeded to tell me that her daughter got sick from a drink she purchased from my shop 5 years previously. And asked if she could get her money back or a replacement drink. She said she really wanted to give us the opportunity to make it up to her since she hasn't come here since and she wanted to give us another chance. I said so sorry. I can't do that for a transaction that happened so long before. She asked to see my boss. Who told her the same thing. And then left in a huff. 
I used to be a manager at a pet store. I think one of my favorite complaints I had to hand was the time a very upset middle aged woman came to me in Little Tez because she couldn't find her brand of dog food. It took about 5 minutes but I was able to figure out which one it was. I took her there. The tears finally slowing. I hand her a small bag of the food. At her request. And she starts yelling at me. Why did you change the package? My dog won't eat it unless it has his face. And do you see his face in the bag? And she goes on and on demanding I get her dog bag on the package. It takes me a moment to realize she had the same breed of dog. And that's why she bought that brand in particular. I managed to clam her down. And convince her to give it a try. I cited her return policy. She drops the bag on the floor and said you just want my dog to starve. And leave. In California. Middle Eastern man hassling my female coworker. He wants some discount on a very expensive Mont Blanc pen. Starts shouting he won't talk to a woman. Get the manager. I was the night manger. And a woman. Ignorant fool. When I was around 18. I worked at a pizza hut and was training to be a shift manager. This guy asked to see the manager in charge. Which at the time was me. He opened his pizza box and the pizza looked normal to me. Then he said there's a scarecrow on my pizza. Full stop. I think maybe he was schizophrenic or something. We just gave him a new one because he was freaking out about it. I had a customer drive their car into a parking bollard and wanted to know how he'd be compensated because he didn't see it. I told him I'd call it into my risk management department and provide them the details. He then called the police to file an accident report. For himself hitting a stationary object. He said the bollard was too short and the police officer just replied. So if it was a toddler you hit. It would be the kid's fault. The officer was nice enough to let him decide to not file an accident report on himself. Managed a well known full service shoe store for a while. And I had just been promoted to store manager from assistant manager. I was in the back on my break when my employee came out and said someone wants to speak to the manager. So obviously I'm like oh great what's it gonna be today. I come out to the floor and it's one of my regular customers. She smiles and waves and said she heard I got promoted and wanted to say congratulations. Honestly a very happy twist I wasn't expecting but very much enjoyed. When I was a hostess a dude made me track down our manager on a packed Saturday night. He was hard to track down even under good circumstances but that's another rant. For customer dissatisfaction I had some power to help people so I always asked what the problem was and he straight refused to tell me. Turns out he asked for his water without ice and received water with ice. A fair enough complaint on its own honestly. The issue is the way he handled it. Rather than remind his server that he didn't want ice and get a new glass he waited until after his meal to talk to a higher up about it. I guess he was fishing for a freebie but water is already free so what was he thinking would happen? My manager just looked so confused and... Of course. Was annoyed with me for interrupting whatever he was doing with nonsense. Working as a shift supervisor at a coffee shop in 2009-2010 an irate customer complained that my staff wouldn't heat her coffee as she requested. She wanted them to steam it to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. When told that is literally boiling and would not be safe for our staff or for her she stated that she always drinks her coffee at 212 degrees. Completely bizarre interaction. Liquid coffee is for losers. I like to heat it to 212 degrees and then wait for it to begin separating back into grounds and water vapor. Then. I add a single ice cube. Recently. I didn't honor a coupon that expired in 2003. We weren't open until 2014. I managed a storage company. Dude had several units. Told him I would not charge him extra if he paid by the 10th. 12th rolls around. He doesn't pay. I hit him with a bill and late charges. He comes in hot demands to see manager. Manager is me. I'm like. Hello. I allow him to scream at me for 20 or so minutes. Tell him sorry can't help you proceeds to throw a package of mattress covers at me. I call the police. 
They come. I say I want to file charges for assault. Guess who has a warrant? He doesn't pay for units for 90 days so I auction off all his stuff from 3 units. All because he didn't want to pay $60 in late charges. He came in later to get his stuff. I saw him drive up and immediately called cops. They come. I tell him his stuff is gone with them there. He threatens to kill me. Guess who goes back to jail?